Sure, um, what I know so far is that it was a case of it seemed like someone shooting without just cause to shoot. And he was just walking, wearing a hood. Um, the guy, I guess he was a part of the neighborhood watch and he thought that he was doing a service to the community to just blindly shoot someone. Mm -hmm. But um, it's just one of the, I think, worst cases that could happen with a kid being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, so uh, with, in terms of the media right now, uh, do you feel that they're covering everything, you know, just uh, fairly? Um, fairly in regards of looking at both sides of the picture? Yes. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I may be biased because I'm a young black gentleman myself, but I don't really see how they could cover the shooter's side in a, in a better light. Um, I think it's something that hits close to home with everyone because no matter what race you are, you know, if, if you have kids, you can empathize with the parents for this, this shooting that didn't have to happen whatsoever. Right, of course. Yeah. Now, um, okay, uh, do, do you also know that they've, um, about the media kind of cutting a certain, uh, certain audio, pieces of audio and everything? And no. what about the, uh, you know, just like, Remember the uh, where they're making big issue with the whole uh, whether you said coon or not stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in fact, that was actually an edited piece of audio and everything. That oh, they were, really? Yeah. It's just uh, re just recently they uh, came out with the full version of the audio, and that's mm -hmm. when people confirmed that yep, he said punks instead of coon. Uh, so yeah. I didn't actually hear that. Yeah. 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 There's like a lot of things that people don't really um, know about the case right now. Yeah. Too, but um, do you feel that? Uh, people are just kind of jumping to conclusions right now uh, too I quickly. Do. I do. I think that they are. I also think, um, I don't mean to sound like a conspiracy theorist, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of times when other things are going on in the world, we'll pick a topic and we'll really hit home on it so mm -hmm. that we don't have to focus on other things. So I think that's happening a little bit too. Oh, okay. So you mean kind of like a red herring to just to yeah. kind of divert from other uh, issues right now? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what about uh, some of these other, um, you know, celebrities and political uh, and just news pundits, just like giving their uh, opinions about about the whole Trayvon thing? You know, if you click on news nowadays, you mm -hmm. see, you hear about like a, you read about like a random celebrity giving this case about the whole Trayvon thing. Um, what, do, how do you feel about that? Um, one hundred percent indifferent. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they have a bit of a spotlight because they are celebrities, but um, I don't really take what they have to say. That importantly, okay. Uh, just okay. Uh, I mean, actually, uh, well, another question though. Uh, just recently, uh, Mike Tyson he just came out and said um, that he would uh, that he would like to see um, Zimmerman shot to death. You know, just like kind of like fair, fair justice like that. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that like you know uh, comments like those are going to inflame people to violence and everything? Well, someone who would bite someone else's ear off, I can see why they would say that. Um, I don't think that he's a good um, person to follow with anything. Right. Um, I think if someone more level-headed were to say something like that, it would mean something. But him, I'm not sure if it'll really make a difference.